away from. Beat it. the rent, maybe we could complain. How can a good girl pay the rent these days? When those boys finally do get a job, they'll be too worn out to play. Why don't you tell that to speak? I can't hear myself think. in this world without you starting a private war? I didn't want to fight. I didn't want any trouble. Oh, you give me some lip, Chief, and I ain't taking that off of no foreigner. All right, you can both tell it to the captain. Just a minute, officer. Monsoon here don't mean any harm, and you know the condition of this fellow Lomax. I know all about it, and I'm fed up with it. Please give them another chance. I promise you that it won't happen again. If you say so, Mr. Wilkins, I'll do it for you. Thank Don't you. ever let me catch you at this again. Go on, I said. Get moving. Party's over. Get up. Frank, get out. Come on, get back to your work. You ain't got time to stand out here all night and look at them cats fighting out there in the alley. All right? We can get back to our rehearsal. Frank, get up. Oh. Keep on going. I saw what you did, Paul Wilkins. I'm not a citizen yet. It would have been hard on me without your help. I knew that, Montooth. That's why I hid the gun. We couldn't have talked the cops out of this. You'd better get rid of it, sir. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Paul Wilkins. Hello, Sister Harry. Oh, hello, Paul. Did Lomax beat him up there? Oh, he'll be all right, Sister Hattie. Another fight. 
Another fight. Ain't there never gonna be no peace for us, Pa? Peace just don't happen, Sister Haddock. It's something we got to work for and earn. Seems to me like everybody's working the wrong way. I expect you're right, Sister Haddock. Hello, Mom. You look pretty tired. Let me take that. Why don't you get wise to yourself, Mercedes? You can't make a decent living pending your wares on the streets. You've got to be a real businesswoman. The better business leads will show you how. I sure am tired of standing on the street. Oh, of course you are. What you need is a nice store, nice counter, comfortable seats for you to sit on, shiny cash register, and you in a nice, neat uniform. That's what the Better Business League advocates. But I've been doing this kind of business all my life. And where has it got you? Well, I got a little money saved up. If I thought it was the right thing to do... I can prove it's the right thing for you to do. Let me show you something. Look at this. For your rent. Let anyone I know, see darling, but you've got to marry me. Do you understand? You've got to marry me. Sure, I understand. Sure. What did you think? Only we can't talk about it now, can we? I'm sorry, but I've been so frightened. There ain't nothing to be frightened about. No, no, of course there isn't. I was foolish to worry. Sure, honey, we'll straighten this whole thing out. Oh, then, then you'll meet me tonight, the usual place. I'll be there. You get a hold of yourself and. Run along upstairs. I don't want to get to talk like that old. How can you even think of going away and leaving me? Who's leaving home? Nobody's leaving. Only all of still talking about that fool idea of going down south to teach. It isn't foolish. It's the most practical thing in the world. Is that your own figuring? Yes, it is. I want to teach where there's real work to be done. Not here in Harlem. Now, that sounds just like that phony Bachelor of Arts you've been running around with. No, that's the truth. You never had those ideas until you met this fellow Gregory. I don't like him. I don't like the way he's making you think, Ola. It's wise, kid. That joker hasn't got sense enough to wear a hat. Acting like he knows everything. Strutting around like he owned all the cotton in a book. That's not fair, Pa. Greg's smart, and he's got a good education. You make a fine teacher. I'd like to teach him a couple of things. Oh, you would, would you? That's just the way I'd expect you to talk. You can't understand a man like Greg. He's fine. He wants to work for our people and educate them. Why, Jim Braxton, you haven't one ounce of his courage and character. Oh, well, Jim's a member of his family. Don't you talk to him like that. I am old enough to pick my own friend. And Greg's my friend. I don't want to hear him run down. She's got a sharp tongue. She didn't mean to hurt you, boy. You know that. You're like my own son. I've been thinking about you and your father all day, Jim. I guess we weren't a bad-looking pair of soldiers, him and I. I look like him, don't I? Just like him. Every time I look at you, I think of him and how I owe my life to him back there in the Argonne. I know. 
We used to plan and plan, him and I, for our two kids to, well, marry each other when they grew up. <clears throat> oh, and I ain't even on speaking time. Maybe if you stayed around a little bit more, you two would get along better. Yeah, maybe. Anyhow, I'll try. I promise. And when I make a promise, you can take my word for it. Certainly. And when I make a promise, you can take my word for it. Can you prove it? Can I? Get in the groove, baby. But I'm not in the mood to be picked. Say, I dug you when I first landed you. But I don't dig you, Jack. Oh, I wouldn't dive you, baby. Cause you're fine as fine. You're not so bad yourself, Jim Baxter. Come on, Judith. You're meeting me after you're through here. There's your music out there, honey. You better pick it up on the downbeat. Okay, mad genius. Polishing up your latest symphony? Stick around, Jim. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, baby. I'm trying to forget you. I'm not going to let you endanger my poor aching heart with your charms, with your love. You can be so I'm wanting you. Or you've been playing while I've been saying I love you. I love you. I'm trying to forget to the days that I met you, the way that you smiled when we kissed, how I miss all that bliss. It had to be done, and you had your fun, but now I'm crying. Trying to forget. Does a new face make you forget old friends? Oh, hello, Marshal. I'm just having a little diversion. Hey, how's that business league of yours doing? Oh, it's jumping. All the merchants are cooperating. Why, stores are remodeling and putting in new fixtures. Business is improving. Looks like you're doing all right. And to play. Ah, what did it mean, brother? Brown bomber. I, I said brown bomber. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. DJ, that was all good. Say, what is this? Give me a brown bomb. All right, all right, you get it.
don't taste like no brown farmer. The days that I met you, those good. days that you smiled with me. Now that's different. How I miss all that bliss. It has to be done. But now I'm crying, trying to forget. How'd you like it, Dave? Davey, that's a killer. One for the lady. One, one for her. Hi there. <laughs> Like that great statesman of old who ended his speech by saying, Carthage must be destroyed. I end my speech by saying, bad business must be destroyed. <laughs> we all know we can't expect our own patronizers unless we have clean stores, modern equipment, and give courteous service. And that is what the Federal Business League is helping us to achieve. I thank you. I've got an idea. That's not bad. 
Not bad at all. Yes, I think Paul Wilkins is the one to take care of the lead. Me too. There's nobody else. Now, don't you go around talking about it. You see what the other girls have to say. Paul Wilkins is the best man you can get. He's okay by me. You can bet. Yes, he's a straight shooter, all right. Paul Wilkins? Sure. That's swell. I like the idea. So you think he's okay? Do I think it? I know it. Best man for the job. Uh, you see, a man of my social standing and my musical experience, I must have a day off for relaxation. So that's why you're not taking the evening off for my bartender's job. You know, I'm not a guy that talks about myself. I always let the other fella do the talking and I reap the benefit. <laughs> There's a heap of talking I could do about you. What did you write after that? Well, uh, I wrote Cab Calloway's new hit. How interesting. Why, Cab is one of my great admirers. The only cab you know is a 20 cent a mile one. And then there's Duke Ellington. He wants me to arrange his new store. And there's uh, Count Basie. He wants me to uh, fix up his too. In fact, everybody wants the great Flipper. Oh, Flipper! 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 Now, you see that? There's Steve downstairs yelling for me. It seems like I'm just too much in demand for my social obligation. We'll see you later, girl. Huh, that's the only obligation she's got is a lot of IOUs. I am the great sliver. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you is now. But where was you when you wasn't where you was? Well, I was working on that great symphonical arrangement. Let me see. Let... Yeah, I had it. What did I do with it? There it is. Big symphonical. Get inside and tend to your business and stay away from them show chicks upstairs. Oh, there. Where are you rushing to? I'm late for dinner. Yes. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to an early movie. You better run along. Sister Hattie, I almost forgot. You know, uh, Decoration Day is Pa's birthday? Yes, I remember. I want to have a surprise party for him. Will you help? Why, sure. Why not have everyone waiting for him when he comes home from the parade? And that would be the right time to tell him about the league. That's a great idea. It'll be a really big day for Paul. And his gal. Oh, it's late again. Hello, Jim. Hello, Pa. Oh, well, honey, why are you so late? Then it's getting cold. I'm sorry, I lost track of the time. Running around with that Gregory fellow again, I guess. When are you going to stop this foolishness? Must we go over that again? Maybe the girl's tired, Pa. Now I'll be ready in a minute. I just know that teacher's filling her head full of going south ideas. I just couldn't stand it if she went away and left us again. I know how you feel, Pa. You know about all the trust fund, don't you? That'll be yours the day you marry her. Uh, well, I don't need no extra inducement to marry Ola. I know, son. How could you help falling in love with her? I guess I haven't been paying enough attention to her. I'll make it clear I want to marry her. That's it. You've been wasting time. I think I have. Ola! Ola, hurry! I've got something to tell you. That's it, boy. And of course, the trust fund will be yours when you get married. Oh, so you told him about that. Well, that doesn't mean anything to Jim. Not much. It's you that means everything, Ola. Ola, honey, it's been a dream of mine since you were a little child that you and Jim should marry. But I... 
I don't love Tim. You can learn to love me, Ola. You'll see. You've never disobeyed me in your life. You're not going to do it now, are you? Pa, you just simply must let me lead my own life. Do my work. Give me time. Let me think. Well, I'd better leave you two alone. See you later. Are you hanging around here again? I told you not to. But I waited for you last night for hours. Oh, I got tied up on the business. But we can't wait much longer. We've got to get married. Soon. Soon, Jim. Otherwise, I don't know what I'll do. Say you'll marry me right away. Say it, Jim. Don't you trust me? I didn't mean that. Of course I trust you. I love you, Jim. Then don't rush me. Oh, baby, take it easy. Give me a little time. But, Jim, you don't know. With Ma watching me and, and the way I feel. Why, the minutes seem like years. Don't whine. I hate that. I'm sorry. I'll be patient. Say you'll forgive me, dear. considering going through with this just to please your father. No, how can I? Feeling the way I do about you. But I don't want to hurt you. I can't. Well, there must be some way out. Perhaps if he really got to know you. I'd be satisfied if he just liked you. I could only get a chance to talk to him. Then come to the birthday party. Oh, I'm afraid your father wouldn't want me there. It would be a chance for him to know you better. Promise you'd come. All right, I promise. Jim Braxton, Doc Smith, but uh, he's around about this time, though. Well, set him a flavor. I guess we'll stick around for a while. Thank you, sir. Beat him. Hand that freedom stuff. I'm thinking about the meat. What are you thinking of doing with Jim Braxton? Very simple. You mean Paul Wilkins' gal? Ain't that enough? Pardon me, Mr. Marshall. You're wanted on the phone. Thanks. Stick around in case Braxton comes in, you flag him. you do your research, wait for the benefit of the South. Now, hold on, Braxton. This is entirely our affair. Paul Wilkins don't think so, and neither do I. This is my girl. I'm marrying Ola. Come on. Same as you, Right. Hello, Marshal. Looks like Paul Wilkins' gal has given you the work. Oh, yeah? Sure. Oh, that part's taken the league over. Why, the family don't need you anymore. What do you mean? Oh, it's very simple. Ola will have everything she wants, and the boyfriend will walk right in. Paul Wilkins is still in my corner. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. He'll be too busy with the league. That is, of course, if he does get the league. Meaning what? Meaning that somebody ought to see to it that he don't. Sounds easy. It is easy with my help. 
We both got an axe to grind. How about joining forces? Set him up, Flitter. Mr. Braxton and I are going into business together. <laughs> Day parade there ever was. Maybe you shouldn't march anymore, Paul. Me? I'll march as long as I can stay. Marching feet, all the boys there beside me, just like it was at the Argonne. Oh, goodness, my bones. That's right, Paul, yes. All day I kept the memory of the bursting shells and the noise. We were blind with smoke and death from the sound of a gun. Oh, you're kind to your good daddy, Ogler. And yet, the boys kept on fighting. Until Jim's pa got his, and... I know. The parade always brings us back. I wish I had been playing a juice off. 
Why, you have no idea how good you're helping the cause. Go on, they don't care nothing about cause. All they care about is effect. complete entrance for this evening, because I am the big music man around here, so I hereby accept the nomination. And I accept the nomination. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are the only one who has the better business here. I ain't seen one yet that could hold high account to you. Why, Mr. Wilkins, everybody in Harlem loves you. And what's more, we got respect for him. Yeah. 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 Everybody's pulling for you, Pa. Well, I'm deeply honored at the confidence you're placing in me. And I'll give you everything that's in me. And work for the League with my whole heart. And with your cooperation, we'll put over the Better Business League and make Harlem the prosperous, progressive place it should be.
Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mr. Wilson. My best wishes on your birthday. My friends have congratulated me already. Good evening, Mr. Wilson. No one is more sincere in his good wishes to you than I am. Good wishes? Good wishes mean good filling my daughter's head with ideas about leaving me? Please, Pa. But, Mr. Wilson, you're a big man. You can see that the work down south needs people like Ola. And so do the work here. And I need them. And we never had no disagreements about that until she met you. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. Wilson. But give me a chance to make you change your mind. No. I don't want your kind around here. But, Mr. Wilson, I love Ola. Get out of this place. I want to marry Ola. You heard what Paul said. Get out. Please, Ray. And you may as well understand, Jim Braxton is going to marry Ola. Now get out and stay out. Well, uh, <laughs> what about going on with the fun? Some fun. <laughs> what do you know about that? I'm just as high as I can be. What you know about that? The only drink I drink is lemon and tea. What you know about that? It took one look for me to know that I had stumbled into love. And now it's got me. There's nothing I can do about it but oh. Now walk into my flat, babe. What you know about that? What you know about that? A bit of lemon and soda and a dash of lunch. What do you know about that? A tempo al grotto is much too much. Do you dig the situation? Well, look her here. The master is also a connoisseur. I have stumbled into love, and now it's got me. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Love step into my flat face. What do you know about that? There was only some way out. You've got to make up your mind right away, Ola. I don't know what to do. But it's so simple, darling. Your father wants you to marry a man whom you don't love and don't trust. But you do love and trust me, don't you? But you're leaving out one important thing. My pa. It would break his heart. But what about your heart if you married Braxton? Greg, I can't. I can't. Please, Ola, I wish you would see it my way. Now, wouldn't Paul be pleased if he knew about this? Mind your own business, Jim. You're in my business now, honey, and I won't have you running around with this phone anymore. Listen, Jim Braxton. You listen. Be careful that I don't push those big brains of yours down to your feet. I wouldn't advise you to try it. Greg, don't, please. Please, Jim. Okay, I won't mess up your ex-boyfriend's pretty face. And I mean ex-boyfriend. Say goodbye to him and you better mean it. Ola is taking no orders from you, Jim. Why, you cheap chiseler. We're getting married right away and we're going south. Come along. I now pronounce you man and wife. Greg and I married today on our way south. Please forgive us. We're right. Love. Oh. Don't take it so hard, Pa. He loves Greg. He'll be happy. But how could she leave without a word? I guess she thought it was useless to tell you. You don't understand, Sister Hattie. You never had a child of your flesh, shame. I, I do know. My child has shamed me. What do you mean? Rosalia. She, she. Rosalia? I tried every way to find out. But you know she's tight 
and swear she'll never tell me. Oh, just a habit. So you've got trouble too. But I'm not turning my back on my child because she made a mistake. She needs me more now than ever. You're a good woman, Sister Hattie. We should try to understand and help our children. And help each other. That's right. Maybe I can help you. There's work to be done in Harlem. I'm glad of a chance to head the lead. But there's more than business needs improving. We must clean our house. Of course we have obstacles to overcome. Every movement for good has problems. But we have the energy and the will we can solve. <laughs> First of all, we must drive all disturbing factors out of our organization. <laughs> and with pride in our race and pride in our good intentions, we must forge ahead. On and on, and let the world know what we can do. Yeah! The only way to really organize our group so it will stick together. We've got to work and work fast or you don't eat. Make us realize the fact that we are members of a great race. Yeah! I've got an idea. Come on. get the dough yet. And until then, you expect me to waste my precious time? Say, what are you driving at? Oh, nothing. Listen, baby, you got to stick with me. You'll get everything I promise you. I'll get the money. I'm not the patient kind. Hello, Jim. Hello, Marshall. Hello, Judica. Well, if it ain't the worst of business, me. I'd like to talk to you, Jim. Sit down, Marshall. We can talk in front of Judica. Okay. Have a drink. Thanks. What's up? You've been thinking about my proposition since our last talk. I told you I couldn't go as far as that. Yeah, but you know, we'd both be better off if certain people were out of the way. You mean? Supposing there was a new person at the beach. And? Supposing I knew where you could lay your hands on some ready cash. Well, here's what we've got to do. The next meeting at Progress Hall. Oh, Rosalie. Are you all alone? Yeah, honey. Is there anything I can help you? Oh, no. No, Pa. Don't Jim stay around here anymore? No, honey. He ain't been around here for days. Ola's going away. Broke him up, I reckon. I see. Sorry to trouble you. Oh, no trouble at all, honey. Good night, Pa. Good night, honey. Hey, baby, I'll keep on my promises. You'll get furs and jewels, just like I say. Sounds good. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, baby. Nothing. And you'll be sure to get that dough, won't you, sugar? Easy. When the old man six feet under, I collect it. You'll have to give it to me. Sure. Then you'll be in the clear. That's it. I was so hard broken about Ola, I left town and didn't know from nothing. <laughs> Tell me more. You're going to give the finest clothes and the finest time and the finest loving. Beautiful, you drive me crazy. Careful with that, Lomax. Oh, it isn't set yet. 
I can get to make you more comfortable. Well, uh, maybe a pillow. Man, you're driving me out of my mind. I can't help but see that I'm so tired. It'll take a bum to rise me to my feet. I'll bust one under you someday. Get up! We gotta play! Oh, all right, yeah. What you gonna be? I'll, I'll take this. I'll play this. Yeah, yeah this with me. Come on, let's play. Under me, Speed Simmons. A bomb. A bomb! Don't give me that thing here, man. Look out, dog. That thing won't go. been dreaming, boys. About a bomb. Brother, that wasn't no dream. There was a bomb. There was? Yes. Where is it? I put it out in the alley. Oh. 
Johnson, these monkey signs have got to what? stop. Get up on the stand. Come on. Get up on the stand. I'll give you all one more chance. Come on. Let's play. One. I've asked Mr. Montu, whom you all know, to come up on the platform and talk to us. Tonight, friends, I can call you fellow Americans, something that I never had the right to say before. I'm a citizen now. I have no words to tell you how much this means to me. You tell them, Mr. Wilkins. Montu. Does being American mean that you're against people who put bombs in meeting places? That's what I mean, sir. And do you mean that being an American, you're against those who think only of themselves? That's right, sir. And does being an American being ready to work and being ready to fight for the good of all of us? Oh, 
Greg. If we'd only gotten here a half hour sooner. Brace up, darling. You can't blame yourself for this. Somebody's got to break the news to Hattie. Paul. Come on, Ola. We might as well go over to the meeting hall now. <laughs> Set. What do you think? Marshal, we can't go through with this. You do as you're told. Backing out, eh? Why, it would be a shame if somebody else took this trip with me. How did you get here? Jim, Rosalia left this note for you. For me? I didn't mean no harm, Paul. Forgive me. We'll stick with you from now on, Paul. Now I know what you're fighting for. It's for the future, children. Your future. Our future. And the future of our race. 